to shoot off some rockets. Maybe, right? Well, we're with Imagination Station, and they're always doing things big and fun and creative with science. And today, Dan, we're shooting off rockets with some really, really cold stuff, right? That's right. Um, now, last week, you guys made water rockets we did. on the air, right? We did. I remember this, yeah. Um, so that's our water rocket challenge. That's coming up this weekend. This is something you won't be able to get to see. This is a very Ooh. special uh, rocket that we have. But it's very similar, and it works with some similar principles. OK. But first, uh, safety glasses, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very I like good. to keep my eyes. Now we Where have liquid nitrogen, which is very cold. It's one of my favorite substances. It is 320 degrees below zero. Wow. And uh, we're going to use that to create some rockets, but it has, um, let's talk a little bit about some of its properties first. For sure. Okay. So I'm going to take some out and put some in this test and expanding and it expands very quickly. And you can see it expanding inside of my balloon here because gases take up way more space than liquids do. Yeah, they're moving a lot faster, spreading out a lot more. Um, and I can actually make it happen a little bit faster. Oh no. Um, and see how large my balloon can get because it take up like 700, hundreds of times uh, more space than just the liquid. And it might burst my balloon, it might yeah, not. Yeah, I feel like you're trying but it's to quite cause luck. trouble. Oh, every time. Scares me every time. But, but you can see okay. how much space it takes yeah, up. Yeah, it does. And it takes up a lot of space. When it gets exposed to warm things, it happens very quickly. Okay, so that's one part that we're going to use to make our rocket. Another part here is I've got some water with some blue dye, and liquid nitrogen is actually lighter than water. So it will actually float on top, kind of okay. like oil on yeah, water. Absolutely. It will actually float on top because it's less dense. So I can actually pour some on top. And it gets a little bit uh, smoky from the water. We look a little here. mad science-y out here, you know? But I can. Oh, very cool. If you look cool. really closely, you can see that liquid nitrogen is floating on top of the blue you water. You definitely can. You can see it's the bubbling. clear liquid nitrogen. For sure. Woo! Floating on top. That's because it's less dense than the water that's below it, and it's just kind of floating on top, boiling it's away. It's forcing its way right on out of there. OK, so that's another property that is going to be used in our rocket. Okay, so it put expands that over here. and it's less dense than water, so good to yes. know. Yes, so in order to make a rocket, yeah. I've added some water to these uh, 20 ounce bottles. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of liquid nitrogen, pour it on top of our water. It's gonna float on top because it's less dense. And then we're going to quickly invert the bottle like this, and the water and the liquid nitrogen will trade places. Ooh. Okay, and the, that liquid nitrogen will vaporize very, very quickly, expand, push all the water out, and hopefully whoo, nice launch rocket. our rockets into the air. All right, I'm excited to see this. Okay, so let's let's test it out. Yes, so we'll I've make you do it first. Some you water know, here. You know what? First thing first, let's uh, add some let's more safety gear because we are launching rockets here. Yeah, for sure. Cover okay. our faces. Very good. Cover the face. Yes. All right, so I will go ahead and start pouring some liquid nitrogen into my rocket here, okay. or into my bottle. And I almost have enough there. That's probably good. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> and oh, over there. to the dish. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, you were aiming for that. Right? Perfect, right? Absolutely. And you see how fast it shot up into yeah, the air. Yeah, it was not playing So once around. we switched places, all that ni liquid nitrogen expanded very, very rapidly, whew, shot it off. I'll do one more so okay. you can see. I do. I know. I need and I lots think, of... And uh, I think you might be a little eager to try this one. I here. know. I'm excited. This will be cool. OK, so. I'll add my liquid nitrogen on top. A okay. Again, less dense than the water below. Seeing it boiling and then on three, top. Three, two, one. Whoo! No idea where that guy went. Way oh! up over there. Can you kind of see it? Nice. And they go off with tremendous speed. Okay, yeah, so are you like ready? It. I am. So I we think practiced so. this a little bit earlier. We did. So get I your prepared. hand ready. Here we go. Okay. I'm ready. Now I'll pour it in and then you pick it up. Okay, How's okay. That? I was okay. just so excited. You know, uh, I just had to so get it. So we'll there. test All out right. our liquid nitrogen here. We'll pour a little bit in. You've almost got enough. Okay. All right, Ellen, go ahead and quickly grab it. Turn it upside Ready? down. Perfect. We oh. went way up into the air again. Nice. Now, some of the really, really fast ones, we actually filmed this with our high-speed camera. Oh. Um, and some of them, when they were sh just as they were shooting past your head, can go upwards of like 90 miles an hour. Wow. So they go very fast. Like a professional baseball pitcher, yes. pretty much. Do we have time for one more? Can yeah, one more? absolutely. Let's do one more. I'll do it for you here. Yeah, absolutely. You're, Unless you're the you want to do it, Ellen. No, you I want to watch it? you do it. You can get them okay. really high and zip them on out. All right, here we go. Three, Looking two, awesome. one. Oh, yeah, oh, really high. Oh, there it is. Ah, boop. That one went straight up pretty much. <laughs> so 
Yep, it's really fun stuff with liquid nitrogen. Again, if you want to check out the water rocket challenge this weekend, we've got that going on. And then next weekend, we have our dinosaur takeover. So our yes. dinosaurs around the world exhibit where we have all kinds of really cool activities for the little ones, five and under. They oh, can perfect. come in, check out some awesome dinosaur stuff and maybe check out the new exhibit as well. Yeah, great. So you can do the rockets kind of like this and then check out the really cool dinosaurs. All right, thanks so much, Dan. No problem. Thanks so much, stay with us. We've got more WTOL 11, your day coming up next.